Family, 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 what's good? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm back. I'm in the building. Now, we're going to have to do another video. 2.0, calling this AFC South 2.0. In light of all of the moves that has happened, happened in the AFC South. Now, what moves am I talking about? First and foremost, we already know. Andrew Luck retired. Uh, for those of my subscribers and followers, I love y'all. Didn't I tell y'all last year the Colts need to do better by him? Didn't I not tell y'all this last year? And what happened? He's too beat up because he was fucking retiring. I mean, it's, it's karma kicking him in the ass. They, let this, they just sent this boy out there to get his ass kicked. Week after week after week early in his career. Do you wonder why he's retiring now? Shit is crazy. But anyway. And to news today, they give his backup a good backup. Jacoby Brissett, question is how good a starter he's going to be. I think he's going to be a good starter. The question is how good, because the Colts have a very good football team. The Colts have a kind of football team that, with Andrew Luck, can compete for the Super Bowl. Now, who I think is going to win the Super Bowl, that's going to be in the next video. <clears throat> but this is solely for the AFC South. Now, who do I think is going to win the AFC South now? I had them tied with Jacksonville with them having a slight edge, edge over Jacksonville. I got to go with the Jaguars now. I have to. The Jaguars are going to win the division. But, I think the Jaguars are going to be tied with someone else. And that team is the Texans. Yes, Lamar Miller went down with an ACL. I understand that. But they did what I hope they did. Something I did a video on months ago. They let go of Jadavian Clowney. God bless you. God bless you. You did the right thing. Let go of Jadavian Clowney. No, and, and, and it's not nothing personal against Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian Clowney is that woman you date who's just fine as hell for no damn reason. Just so damn fine. And the bitch can't do nothing but make reservations. That's Jadavian Clowney. All the physical gifts in the world. But for whatever reason, something inside here, something inside here, it just... He can't ever do anything past his physical gifts. What am I talking about? The fact that in the last four years he's had nine sacks, nine and a half sacks, six sacks, and four and a half sacks. And this is a guy who's playing opposite J.J. Watt. Okay, I'll give you a pass on the four and a half sacks. That's you coming back after ACL. But six sacks, nine and a half, nine, nine sacks, good numbers, especially the last two years, good numbers. Now, understand, you see Trey Flowers from New England get a whole bunch of guaranteed money, and you're like, shit, I'm better than him. And you know what? He is better than him. He is better than Trey Flowers. We got all that money from um, Detroit. But guess what? Is he better than D. Ford? No. D. Ford, two of the last three years, had double digit sacks. Javion Clowney hasn't done that once. Is he better than Frank Clark? Last three years, Frank Clark, 10 sacks, 9 sacks, 14 sacks last year. Is he better than Frank Clark? Hell no. Hell no, he ain't better than Frank Clark. Hell fucking no, he ain't better than Frank Clark. Is he more physically gifted than Frank Clark? Absolutely. And they keep giving him this title as edge rusher. He is not an edge rusher. He doesn't rush off the edge. Why? Because his hand game is suspect. He has all the physical tools to run around the edge, but his hand game is suspect. Suspect. He rushes in a straight line. Straight line rusher. This is why he had success when the Texans would move him around, let him roam, find a weakness, and let him rush that way. And that's where he had success. And you think the fact that this man played it opposite J.J. Watt all those years, and you getting single one-on-one, -on -one and you couldn't break out and have a big double-digit sack season? You couldn't do that? Not once. Not once playing next to J.J. Watt? Now you're going to go to Seattle. They sent him to Seattle, who plays a lot of base 4-3. And basically, their defense is very simple. We're running cover one. What are you going to do about it? We don't blip smuts. What are you going to do about it? They rely on their front four to do everything. So, so if Seattle thinks they're going to sit Jadavion Clowney on the right edge and expect them to go and rack up 12-15 every year, it's not going to happen. At best, I think... He could be used the way they use Michael Bennett, moving around that way, but eh, I wish him the best. God bless him. But, 
the Texans did what I hoped they would do. They started making investments in the offensive line, in the offense, protect that young crown jewel you have at quarterback named Deshaun Watson. Don't make the fuck up mistake that the Colts did in not protecting their quarterback. Protect yours. Protect your fucking quarterback. So, because they did that, getting Larry Tunzel, who's a damn good left tackle, uh, things are going to look a little bit different in Houston. I still don't like Houston secondary, even though you lost Honey Badger and your corner's a suspect. I still don't like their secondary. But getting Laramie Tunzel, getting Kenny Steele's a perfect complement to, to, to Hopkins on the other side. I really like um, Texans. I got them now going to the playoffs. The problem is also the Titans. The Titans, I think, can go 8-8. Eight and eight. I'm not a fan of Mariona, but yeah, I know how much I love that offensive line. Before I had the Titans going 6-10, and 10, I'm going to give the Titans now 8-8, eight and eight, and I'm going to say the Colts are going to go 6-10. and 10. And it's nothing against Jacoby Brissett. You can't lose a generational-type quarterback in Andrew Luck where this guy can take you to the playoffs and not lose something. You can. So right there, I got the Colts. I got... Jaguars, Texans, East tied ten to six. Jaguars with a tiebreaker. I got the Titans at eight and eight, and I got the Colts six and ten, bringing up the rear. That's my feelings. That's what I think. It's your boy Urban Sports Guru. Let me hear your thoughts, your opinions. Make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe. It's your boy Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.